My name is Min Nguyen. I am the principal of the law office of Min T. Nguyen, and we specialize in uh, personal injury litigation. I am the firstborn of immigrant parents who came here in, from Vietnam in 1975, and I am one of nine children. We didn't have much in terms of resources. My dad uh, worked hard, but it was, you know, it was never enough in the house. Uh, but my parents taught me the importance of education, and they, they emphasized that tremendously. My mom spoke very little English, and um, this was probably in the early 80s, and someone told us that we needed to go back to our own country, that we didn't belong. And what struck me, what stayed with me, was my mom's reaction to that. And she, cause to this person, she looked at him and she apologized. She said, in her broken English, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And that angered me. That stayed with me for a long time. And, you know, it wasn't until I learned about the civil rights movements, you know, people like Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, that I realized that there are people in this world that need a voice. And I want to be that voice. That's why I became a lawyer. Uh, and it's, you see, it upsets me still. It angers me. But at the same time, I recognize, um, you know, without that, uh, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't do what I do, what I love to do. Uh, being a voice for people, for being a voice for the underdog. Uh, you know, my practice primarily represents people who, are, who have been injured. But we also do take pro bono cases. And that's one thing, one of the reasons why I created, I started my own firm, because I wanted to be able to take cases that no one wanted to take. Now, those cases where uh, the client couldn't get through the door because who they are, because of their background. And I, I didn't want to be that. I want to be more. I received a tremendous uh, public education. Uh, here in Long Beach and went to UCLA, UC Hastings and was blessed enough to um, graduate from law school and pass the bar, but I had a lot of help along the way. When I was an undergraduate at UCLA, it was tough. Um, I was working two jobs to put myself through college. Um, my dad didn't, wasn't in the best health. He got sick, so I had to start working to support the family. So uh, I was fortunate and blessed enough um, as a freshman to meet Jeffrey Pop, who saw something in me and, and because of that he took me under his wing. And so when I went to law school, he took care of my tuition, he took care of my housing, and so he gave me a lot of support to allow me to focus solely on studying the law. I spent 18 years of my life at his firm. Uh, eight has a staff, and I started, started out as a file clerk. I, call, I consider myself a gopher boy. I was a guy who cleaned up the conference room, made coffee, you know, ran the photocopy machine. And I worked my way up um, uh, as a secretary, paralegal, uh, law clerk, associate, and then a junior partner. Jeffrey taught me about the practice of law but taught me the practice of law, how to do it correctly, how to do it with dignity, with decorum, with professionalism. And I think that it are, those are important characteristics and traits that should be found in all lawyers. Uh, but after 18 years, it came to a point where um, I just had the, the desire to do more. We agreed that you know, it was best if I started my own firm and being Jeffrey who he is, he gave me $100,000. He let me take three major cases with me. It is important to um, acknowledge and respect that the power that we have, that with the power that we have, we can do a lot of good and it can also be abused. And I was fortunate enough to be taught um, the right way. But I, at the same time, I see now a lot of, uh, at least from my perspective, a lot of young lawyers uh, treating the practice of law as a business as, as opposed to a profession. So I try to give back and reach back 
and mentor young lawyers about uh, the practice of law, about uh, decorum, about professionalism. And it's not about the dollars and cents at the end of the case. It's really about uh, taking someone's confidence and trust uh, during their darkest time where they can come out and regain their dignity, get their job back, be able to support their family. And so I think that that's an important uh, part of what we do as trial lawyers. The danger of treating the law like a business is then we would know better than our adversary. I think if you put the client first, um, everything else about the practice of law, the, the business side would take care of itself. And I, and I truly believe that. The days of trying to do everything yourself as a solo, I think those days are gone. It's just, you can't do it. There's so many people that need help. There's so much that needs to be done in the case that you gotta have a team. Whether it's your own team or you bring someone else in, uh, sometimes, I mean, I have my own team, but there are cases where I bring other, uh, other firms in um, because the amount of work that needs to be done or we're just too busy. But ultimately, those decisions are made based upon uh, the needs of the clients. And sometimes I think, you know, when we're starting out, we don't have the resources, uh, those uh, factors are set aside, the client's interests are set aside and our own interests start taking over and that's wrong. And we have to recognize when that happens, that's wrong and that's when we need to reach out and ask for help and get people to help because there's so many, so many good lawyers out there who are so generous of their time so generous of their resources, willing to help young lawyers, mentor young lawyers, to help out with a case, that it makes sense for everybody. Learn the medicine. At least have a working understanding of the medicine and the injuries so that you can identify what's going on with the client to make sure that so that you can make the appropriate recommendation or referral to the right specialist. And without that medicine, you really cannot evaluate the injury and ultimately evaluate the value of the case and to take care of the client. So I think that's important for young lawyers is to understand the medicine. Just don't get trapped into thinking that every auto crash case, you go, you send the clients to a chiropractor, then you settle the case. If the client is having some major issues, maybe the chiropractor doesn't pick it up, maybe his staff doesn't pick it up, you need to be able to identify it and, and make suggestions to your client that maybe he needs to go see an orthopedic doctor or a pain doctor. Uh, and that is, again, um, you have to know the law and the medicine. Ultimately, there's nothing like getting into the courtroom. Picking a jury is picking a jury, whether it's a, a catastrophic injury case or a minor impact case. It doesn't make a difference. Uh, the issue may be a little different, but having to stand in front of a group of strangers and ask them personal questions and doing it right and without alienating people, that's a tremendous experience that young trial lawyers can gain. Because a lot of my training and a lot of my mistakes and my losses um, came uh, in the courtroom and I learned from that and uh, I wish, I think, had I gone to a trial lawyer college, I could have avoided a lot of those mistakes. I love what we do. I love the practice. I love helping people. I truly do. And I love uh, mentoring young lawyers, giving back uh, whenever, whenever and wherever I can.